Uh, greetings, everyone. It's the evening of the 30th of uh, June 2024. President Cyril Ramaphosa of South Africa has just announced his much awaited cabinet. Uh, we have been waiting for the president to make the announcement. Uh, in the previous video, we did talk about uh, the Department of Home Affairs being given to the Democratic Alliance. Uh, this has been the case. Uh, the president announced that um, uh, Honorable Leon Straper is going to be the is now the Minister of Home Affairs, deputized by Honorable Njabulo Nzunza. He has been Deputy Minister uh, in the sixth administration. Uh, the Minister of Home Affairs in the sixth administration, Dr. Aaron Mtsualet, has been moved to the Department of Health, where he is heading that department as minister. Uh, these are interesting times, as we discussed in, in the previous video, uh, that uh, when we looked into the manifesto of the Democratic Alliance in respect to migration, uh, they had uh, <clears throat> a particular view, or they were trying to take, they were taking a, a, a particular different view from that of the ANC as we saw it being uh, the policy adopted at the ANC policy conference which went to the elective conference as a proposal in 2022 and now it's a white paper. Uh, what uh, we have to wait and see is uh, to what extent can a minister in this uh, government of national unity bring their party policies uh, this is something that, that uh, we will have, we'll have to learn. But of course we know that traditionally a minister makes proposal to cabinet. Uh, it is cabinet that he adopts. But previously, because it has been an ANC government, uh, the National Executive Committee of the ANC uh, uh, through the National Working Committee will make decisions which the deployers of the ANC I expected to to implement. For for instance, <clears throat> a policy conference of the ANC will discuss policies, which goes to the elective conference of the ANC. Upon adoption of those policies, the deployees in government are then expected to implement. Uh, so now, because uh, you also now have other political parties. Uh, in the government of national unity. So the question now is how do you then uh, manage these policy contradictions? Uh, because uh, other political parties who are now part of government of national unity uh, hold a particular view on a policy different from the ANC. Uh, we have to see how the, this, this is going to play out. Uh, but the broadly speaking, uh, it's interesting because as, as, as you know, so some, some of us, are, uh, uh, we give solidarity to the people of Palestine uh, in the sixth administration. Uh, the government of South Africa did well uh, in taking Israel uh, to, to court and also in challenging NATO uh, in the imperialist war which is ongoing uh, in Eastern Europe. Uh, we were worried that uh, <coughs> Uh, Minister Dr. Nalendi was not going to come back. Yes, she didn't come back, uh, but we have full confidence. Uh, personally, I have full confidence in uh, Honorable uh, Ronald Lamola, who is now Minister of International Relations and Cooperation. And uh, we hope that he uh, is going to uh, uh, continue with the good work that was being done uh, under the sixth administration in terms of giving practical solidarity to the people of Palestine and uh, challenging NATO uh, um, in Eastern Europe. Uh, we will discuss, of course, in uh, uh, other ministries, but, but we know that uh, uh, migrants uh, are interested uh, in the Department of uh, Warm Affairs. Uh, uh, we will uh, then they continue to have this discussion uh, on Warm Affairs. Uh, particularly the new minister. Uh, I just researched now uh, 
on the new minister Leon Amos Streber. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. He has been a shadow minister of public service and administration uh, under the Democratic Alliance. Uh, now he's minister of home affairs. What does this mean? So we will uh, continue to engage on this question, whether there are going to be policy changes or it is going to continue. But we know that uh, the new cabinet will be going to a cabinet in Daba, where then they are going to agree on how to move forward as a cabinet, working together under the leadership of President Cyril Ramaphosa. Uh, otherwise, please share your views right in the comment section. I am Mabuto Nicholas Mapena. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you are on TikTok, please do follow us. Otherwise, good night.